I think people just got to understand this is a disaster that happened within a few hundred miles of the United States. And, you know, if it doesn't touch anyone for the long haul, I mean, I don't know what will. Compassion and success. A Chicago surgeon returns from Haiti, bringing with him two victims of the earthquake in need of urgent care. Good morning. I'm Harry Porter for you. And I'm Roseanne Teus. After seeing the devastation firsthand, Dr. Daniel Ivankovic's mission changed from treating patients in Haiti to finding a way to get them out so they have a chance at recovery. CBS 2's Ed Curran is live outside Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where two of the victims, two victims of spinal cord injuries, are now being treated. And Ed, what a doctor. Yeah, he sure is, Roseanne. On a very cold day out here, it really is a heartwarming story when you see what's happening out here. We all look at the pictures from Haiti. We all feel like we want to go down there and help, and this is the story of one man who did just that. Two ambulances, two patients, and hope for a better life. Arriving at Northwestern Memorial Hospital this morning, the two paralyzed quake victims were brought in by Dr. Daniel Ivankovic, an orthopedic surgeon known for his charitable work. He spent the past week in Haiti. His patients, a man and a woman, 28 and 52 years old. I've got a 28-year-old gentleman who uh, fell out of a collapsing building. He actually jumped out of a fourth floor while in school. And uh, he suffered a bad fracture of his spine and he's a paraplegic. And the other lady, 52-year-old, had the structure of her home fall on her, and she was buried for several hours, and she had a fracture in her neck, and she's a quadriplegic. Dr. Ivankovic explains his motivation for taking on cases like this. The goal is that people with these kind of injuries can have lives that are fulfilling to get them fixed so they can sit up, get them into an excellent rehab program. And then the real positive that came out of Handicapped International was that they're going to be building a very large rehabilitation hospital on Haiti to accommodate all these amputees, the spinal cord injuries, and these people can live on an island with their family. It's the best thing for a good recovery. Dr. Dan is quite a character. At seven feet tall, he's known to be a smoking blues guitarist. I bet he's happy just to be known as that big doctor with a big heart. Dr. Ivankovic, of course, donating his services, Superior Ambulance sending two ambulances as they donated their services, Northwestern Memorial Hospital, United Airlines, and the doctor wanted us to make sure to tell you that you can still help the people of Haiti, you can still make donations, because this will go on for a very long time. Roseanne? You know, Ed, I already thought he looked like an Indiana Jones type of guy, but to see him walk off seven feet tall, and what patient follow-up. Thank you, Ed.